the session immediately after lunch is uh, typically fraught with worries that you know after a good meal uh, you don't want to fall asleep. So what we attempt to do over the next uh, 30 minutes or so is try and share with you a perspective uh, from the marketing side, from the business side, in terms of what our expectations are from the news uh, channel medium and what are the challenges that some of us face. And therefore, I hope to also keep a size amount of time for questions and answers that some of you may have, uh, so that we can kind of broadly uh, share some of the learnings we have. As a big background, uh, my last role was as CMO for Unit Tata and HP. I was previously in PepsiCo and Motorola and Tata. Uh, to my right is Avinash, she's the AVP marketing of uh, Patanjali Group. So a good perspective of uh, uh, you know, a fast moving consumer group uh, for this company, you can get this perspective. Uh, the extreme left, uh, we have uh, Amit Tiwani. Uh, Amit is a senior marketer, he's a VP of marketing for Havens. So we get a great perspective on uh, the consumer of the business. He's had consumer experience in the marketing space. And uh, initially to my left is, uh, is Varun Varkul. He's head of ITV. And I thought it makes sense that amidst all these marketers, we also get the perspective of someone who is a channel uh, representative, someone who can really you know, look at saying, you know, what are the things that you could offer the channel, what are the challenges he faces when he deals with marketers, when he deals with agencies. So that's the kind of uh, you know, panel that we have. And we'd really love for each of you to kind of pick through and, and put some of their questions. Just for doing it off and before I can ask the panelists to speak, I want to give one big perspective. I think for a lot of marketers, when we make media choices, when we make uh, decisions about where to put our money in, I think the obvious thing is one is to look at your product, look at the consumer segmentation, look at where you get the perfect audience. The second is the cost effectiveness. And typically you recognize that a lot of marketers who use television, uh, you know, go pretty blindly at the GEC, the general entertainment channels, right? Because they give you a mass reach, they give you, you know, a lot of time and such like. However, there's been a change. A lot of uh, advertisers are looking at the news journal as it's growing both in terms of viewership and in terms of credibility. But the reality is that today, as a journal, it, accounts for less than 10 percent. I've told the last uh, three tracks and about eight percent of the total audience are what we can call those regulars. Uh, you know, versus GC which has a kind of problem. So I think that's one of the challenges that you know you have to recognize. However, you know, having said that, I think we want to make it very clear that news punches about its weight. Right? So therefore for, despite being under 10 percent of the category, clearly we recognize that a lot of Thought leaders, a lot of industry leaders typically would switch to news, so therefore you know, it has a much greater value. It's typically in the context of if you can print, uh, you know, mainline English newspapers, Times of India, Hindustan Times, and Sun Times, they attract disproportionate advertising because people recognize that a lot of their readers tend to be the influencers, the movers and shakers, and therefore there's a bigger point to be made versus an absolute number. And that's one reality. Having said this, I think that's a bit of interrupting marks. I want to hand it over to Amit uh, Tiwari from Havels. I really wanted him to share his challenges in terms of what does he face as an advertiser uh, when he has to deal with uh, the news channel. So Amit, love to have you. Thank you so much, Roy. I think you really well uh, made the platform in terms of what the discussion with And of course, uh, you're absolutely right. I'm completely angry. And my life, most of the time, the session is always after the lunch. So it's a hard job for all four of us to actually make sure that we can make the audience uh, quite alive and active. Uh, I think uh, if you see from our perspective, uh, today 70 percent of my audience are primarily male audiences, and news becomes really important in the individual part of the entire the system that we actually operate in media plan. Uh, if you talk about, uh, let them just break, uh, break this entire thing into different parts. Uh, one is uh, what the challenges that we face and what the opportunities that we look for. I think that will actually uh, also lay the foundation of the discussion that we're actually trying to do today. We've talked about uh, challenges, many challenges. Because uh, if you see today, uh, we advertise a good proportion of money on this channel. But uh, again, the discussion rests only with the FCC, the sponsorship. And uh, there are different different formats about one money up on one money up on one money. 8 o'clock prime time, 3 prime time, non prime time, but do you think actually make relevance to it? There are a lot of new formats which people come and select also for 40, uh, 8 minutes, 60 minutes, 
something of the every form. And I think before marketers, we are all our viewers and consumers. Also. Do we really, before getting into our particular shoes of a marketer, do we really make sense in terms of talking about, or do we really appreciate what has been actually shown? Uh, there is no innovation that we have to do. If we ask for innovation, it will be uh, six months sponsorship for a prime time uh, uh, slot or a laptop branding that we can actually do. Or we can actually do an interview with some of the officials in your company or we can cover your store something in that. I think the way the amount of investment that is happening today in the zone of today, uh, on average per day there are 4,000 to 10,000 ads viewed by every particular individuals are actually having consumption of 3 hours and 44 minutes that the latest conversation in 2018 and the consumer is actually watching. There is no scope for any particular innovation which the advertiser can look for. Why can't a news channel become an end-to-end -end solution for everything that is required? Why can't an infotainment, why can't a piece of uh, NGC or a discovery can be shown? Because today, news has the potential to become the second GC. And because the timing has the same, the prime time definition should remain the same, the audience because of the single TV household still dominates most of their audience today. Nobody comes in in terms of talking about we can do multi season planning. So the point second which I actually want to bring into the discussion is think about opportunity, enormous opportunity. Why we only look only in terms of TV screen of 32 inches or 32 inches is only the screen that we look at? Why can't we do multi season planning? And news is the best solar we can actually do multi season planning. Why can't the advertiser can, can be reached by the channel and say this is what your brand looks like, this is what the category that you advertise for. And you don't, and there's no rocket science that need to put. What some PC season is coming, fan season is coming. Why can't you come with something that says this is what the season is and this is what our offering is? I'm not coming here to sell you FCG, but I'm here to come here as a partnership. What partnership that do? So we need to have an opportunity and a channel perspective should look beyond the regular FCG. That's not my opinion. Uh, thanks, Amit. I think some uh, very interesting and great points. I think really important. And just before I hand it over to Abhinash to share his perspective, I think an interesting perspective is that Patanjali, when they first launched, they were pretty aggressive and big users as news as a genre. Uh, gradually, of course, they went through mainstream and broadcasting. I think that part is very interesting, and there's some great learnings in terms of uh, uh, you know early stages. So I really ask uh, Abhinash to weigh in and share his perspective. Uh, before I start, uh, in true Patanjali fashion, I would like to wish all of you, and that is why we chanting home. Oh. See, what a disruptor does is everything that he gets in is, is a disruption in the way the market thinks about a brand. If you look at us uh, in FMCG uh, business, we were the disruptors. And when we started, uh, before, uh, the first video came in uh, November 2015. Uh, Prior to that, we didn't have even videos. And we were still present on all the news channels. And uh, non FCT element was something which we were more focused on. And uh, let me thank you, the news industry, news uh, broadcasting industry. Whatever brand that we are today, the great part has been played by the news in the news broadcasters uh, that we have done. But there is an evolution that every brand passes through. And when the company starts growing and the revenue starts increasing, then you have more and more money to play around with and then you start experimenting. And then you start realizing the kind of incremental reach that you would like to go through that is that would not be possible only to new broadcasts and new channels per se. And then we are living in an ever evolving media world. Because the way if you look at 2050 and you look at 2017 end and if you look at 2019 February, things have really changed. 2015 was pretty much a TV thing. 2017, till that time it was pretty much TV thing. Then 2018, digital in some way started eating into the pie of TV. And then when you are talking about 2019 February, then you have another prior regulation which comes into force. And that changes everything that you can imagine. 
I I I just tell you, and the way news channels are, whatever we want to achieve, see the some, the most important thing that an advertiser is looking at is say, let me say, let me ask you a question. If I am looking at a 1300 GRP for a particular brand to be launched, can news channels give me that? That is my question to anybody who is handling a news channel, and the reply would be no. Then second thing. Is I'm spending lesser and lesser time in front of the monitor TV, so my screen has become my mobile, and my mobile is something that you that you compare with the GC channel versus the news channel. GC channel, there is a fixed thing. You don't need any updation into that. So let's say if I watch and I do watch Kulfi Kumar Badla Badla, which comes at 8:30 on Star Plus, and if I miss that, I can watch it any time. But if I miss a news channel, that is not possible because news channel is updated by the second and by the minutes. We had a, a big casualty of our security forces happen uh, two days back, and when I while I was watching uh, Times now yesterday evening, while all this is happening, you see Ranbir Kapoor, uh, Ranbir Kapoor coming with a uh, half clad woman. And breaking into an advertisement. What is is that the time to consume that advertisement? So that is one one of the challenges that I face when I am uh, let's say headlines. Bomb blast has happened. People have died. Who would like to sponsor such kind of content? These are the challenges which we have seen, and the way things are transforming, and the way media is transforming, and the way people are consuming news. This is going to be a big challenge which I face every day. Uh, thanks, Abhinash. Great perspective. We come back to the point you made about you know what we can call an editorial environment. Uh, you know the uh, the efficacy of seeing a fun, frothy, you know, suffering commercial soon after a big tragedy is broken on news. And maybe there's a discussion room that we can have in the sense of that, that part. But before I get Varun Kohli in, and you know he is uh, someone who represents the broadcasters industry. Uh, I think what I want to leave, uh, you know, I'm, I'm reacting to this pure as a, as, a, as someone from from the business side of things. I think integration is one very good way where news is drawn up to grow. Because the credibility, as Avinash mean, says, news is high. Uh, everything is current. So there's no, you, you don't store those to fix to see them later. You know, news changes by the sense in the construction. And I just want to point out one example, not as a flat but of interest, I think is, you know, we possibly read the news recently that NDB turned a couple of three straight quarters of profit. And I'm going to link it to the fact that they've done some pretty path breaking, no new innovation in the last five years. One is the whole you know, shooting on a Samsung Note, right? Great product integration, fabulous in some sense. But at the same time, I think it brings NTV a lot of money. It makes their whole network far more efficient with correspondence moving with a small package like a lot of people are familiar with. More recently, they did a tag with, with Google. Uh, sorry, I mean, they, they did a tag with Amazon, with uh, you know, Alexa being the top news headlines. You know, fantastic integration, something that people can relate to in their day's lives. Uh, working pretty well. Then of course the most standard types, right? We have the laptop interface with Asus. So every time you have, you know, quite a very good design for speaking, there's an Asus. Uh, a lot of these things are outside of the classic free commercial type mode, but they do give advertisers a lot of value. I think they play impact. And no way does it take away from the credibility of a news media. What I think we all recognize as advertisers is what makes news in the genre so important is the fact that it stands for a certain kind of credibility. People go there when they want to go to this. And uh, aside from you know, a few political you know, stances, I think there is a certain credibility to this medium that the GEC or you know, most other mediums, most other channel dollars will enjoy. That's the thing. I'd like Varun to share a little bit of his perspective of you know, what are the innovative offerings you could offer to advertisers. And what has been his experience when he's reached out to uh, clients and the advertising to make the So Varun? Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. You know, the first part is, of course, one after the lunch, we have a session, and then this is sitting with three great marketers. And what to say, because I'm in that process is about news channel. I just put forward, I think, my point of view, which is that uh, I agree with a lot of things which have been said by all the three out there. The one thing which is there is that is the news channel hungry for integration? Yes. Is the news channel hungry for ideas? Yes. Do we present ideas? Yes. 
Where does it get stuck at? Maybe the agency side, maybe some other side. Maybe there have been path breaking uh, innovations which Roy Jones is telling. But at the end of the day, the problem with news is one, uh, 100% because there's a lot of breaking news happening every year, there and there. You know, whether people will be subjecting and they think breaking or not. But that's how the genre is. But how is the genre surviving in spite of if you are talking of the demonetization happen or you talk of, of any other GFT uh, 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 happen? News genre was the only genre which was again well met in person. That means advertisers had faith that had less money to reach out to a constructible audience, audience who don't want to leave. And there are a lot of people talking about uh, the screens changing, multiple screens coming. Right? News will say that it is irrespective of the screen. There is a lot of English entertainment which has moved on to the digital store, the OTT platform. But news is still a big part. So, I mean, it's, it's a two-pronged strategy for me. Uh, while yes, of course, a lot of news guys try to go back to the client, understanding what their ideas are and working towards that. But at the same time, there is a lot of things we don't come from the agencies back to us. In terms of integration, because they say news means we have to just burn frequency in order to do a certain audience. If I have to put it in the right way, all the money are more for the DC that can be done to the DC. Uh, thanks, Varun. I think uh, the point that you made is something that we as advertisers face, which is really a news channel discussion can never be about the pure PR piece pointing, right? And being sub 10 percent of the entire television viewing audience, the news PR piece will always be small. I think the challenge for broadcasters is to take the discussion with agencies and marketers beyond the absolute reality number, but more in terms of the larger impact. I think that's where the real value comes, which is really where we can add a lot of value. But I just want to I, while our companies also mainly do uh, television, we also have the digital research. Now in digital, I want to tell you a classic example for a plan. There is one agency which only does dollar advertising and all. But there is a PR agency which does integration. Now the ideation that comes from there is fantastic. It charges us up also to do something different. So that is what they are doing. It's the same agency which will ideate also. It's the same agency which will give us the advertising which is the normal agency. So that is also an area which needs to improve. Great point. Uh, I'll throw the point to, uh, to uh, Amit right now. And one of the points I want Amit to actually reflect on and, and share his perspective is the fact that today people consume media not in isolation. Which means that all of you are watching the 9 o'clock prime time, uh, feel your favorite news anchor and the big show. I think a lot of you have your phone with you, you are tweeting about something, there's a hashtag of the day that's trending, you have a strong point of view about a recent development and such like And therefore, I think news also permits for a lot of multi-level integration. Mobile phone, what you see on the live screen, animations happening around there, something very current. And therefore, how do advertisers actually use that to go back? So, I'm going to be sure something. I think that before getting into the question, I think what point you made and Varun also uh, cemented the same fact in terms of, you see, as an advertiser, we always look at news in two different forms. One is form and the format. So everybody, every news channel, every two years, three years, four years, change the format. But nobody is interested in changing the form and it has to be delivered to the audience. It is also linked to the question that we actually asked about this. Today, Nobody is waiting for a prime time or non prime time, it is only in the mind of seller and advertising because neither the transaction is increasing. How do you select between a transaction of 2.1 versus 2.1.9? You can't select. It's only what, what's the last minute negotiation that you actually decide. Whether it's a negotiation or a hacking, that's a different question altogether. Or no, in terms of what's the uh, relationship that you actually drive. But there is no, I have not seen at least in the last, at least two decades of my particular career, anybody coming and saying, because we are giving you a complete end-to-end -end dot proof this is also caters to what Twitter will do, what is my particular decision will do, how it will actually integrate, because we never thought of it. Still in the minds of, even for advertisers, it's giving the hand to the heart. Advertisers also started feeling the fact that then TV will be treated separately, online will be treated separately, social experience will be treated separately, so let's have separate team. End of the day, we are actually going for the same audiences. Your audience doesn't change. The profile of the audience doesn't change. So that's a given. See, it's a, it's a change of mindset. It's not about things that actually change. We can discuss and in most of the conferences, most of the uh, seminars discuss how, how can you actually change. The audience will not change. You have to change the way you deliver to your audiences. That's what my opinion
Uh, quick perspective on it. Let's just come uh, briefly back to Avinash because I think he raised an important point about the credibility and the editorial environment. Which means when you're seeing a major, uh, serious, you know, tragedy unfold, and to play words like these is when, let's say, news channels have a little uptake in terms of visibility. I think seeing an ad that is not relevant or that's totally frivolous, uh, you know, tends to be a little, uh, you know, a little concerning for the consumer. And I think that is one area where solutions could be worked at together. Which means one of the advantages why advertisers like digital, one is digital's better measurability. But secondly, it's also the fact that you can contextualize and customize ads almost to the nearest person, right? So I can have a series of five or six different uh, you know, kind of messaging, and depending on whether he's a male, 40 plus, whether he's you know, a younger woman, you know, early twenties, I can contextualize my advertiser. I think in that context, I think something that advertisers need to share very clearly is could they therefore have a bank of creative that should something serious or unfortunate happen, could they pull out you know, more kind of light advertising and keep with more, to think like banking and financial services are pretty evergreen and can work across various perspectives. I'd love to hear, uh, you know, Avinash's perspective on that because he raised that point, and also what, you know, what are the other things, other advantages that uh, his company, Patanjali, sees uh, across in the newsroom. See, it is not really the editorial environment that I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about lots of uh, lots of things because I have spent quite a lot on the uh, TV channels and uh, uh, especially the news channels. It was for us, we were my big only foundation in India which had a 50 50 divide between TVC and news channels. So people who have been beneficiary out of it. But let me ask you a very uh, different kind of question. How many the news, uh, national news channels are there? Can somebody give me an idea? There are more than 22. Everybody has almost same content running through. How would I consume SARS on uh, news channel? How would I consume Kavi Sambilan on a news channel besides it is Holi? Holi makes a sense that uh, since there has been a tradition of Kavi Sambilan in, uh, in uh, before Holi, if you have been from bananas or the, the eastern part of India. But tell me one thing, how does it happen? Then the second challenge that I get is the reach. The reach of GSC versus the reach of our news channel. Third thing, CPR is always higher. Fourth thing, it is so clutter that if I have to choose Frequency as a, uh, this new channel for frequency, why would not I go on the new channel? That's my other question. Because what I have seen, the reach and the GRP that is generated through the new channels, new channels cost to almost one and a half times. So if uh, Aztec and GD cost to somewhere close to 4,000 rupees, you will buy the general Centrax and uh, G7 will cost to somewhere close to 6,500 uh, 6, rupees. But look at the way they give you the reach and the opportunity to see ODS. In your language, it is ODS. The opportunity to see on a new channel is much bigger. And when your news channel and the, the kind of content that you come out with becomes more in, uh, entertainment and less of uh, a news channel, then why would not I will go? for a vanilla entertainment mode. That is my question. And I, I just compared, I, I, I just pulled out six months data before I came here. And I, I can see, if you want, I can, if you can focus on my mobile, I can show you. The cost per GRP in movie gen dollar is almost 40% of what I pay for a new channel. So that, that, those are the challenges that you need to meet up. And stand up to. Uh, I think good point, uh, Avinash. Just to put that in context, I think you recognize that GC movies news, I think cost structure of the production values are different. News is always going to be typically a more expensive medium. You need to have cross on the ground. You need to have people featured out. Television is really about kind of flogging the rights that was of a movie that was once released. And every time they run on television, it's some force. There is one cost element, but I think you made a valid point. 
Varun, uh, want to respond to some of the other points in terms of cost per uh, PRP that uh, Avinash paid. So I'll let Varun respond. Uh, two things is what Avinash uh, said and put forward the broadcaster view. One, uh, whenever there is a breaking news, four hours, three hours, uh, five hours, you go break less. There is there's not a single break that you take. And I'm talking across news channel that we say, that is there, that is there. But you have to also see when you are talking about GRPs and all, the kind of money you pay on an entertainment channel, the money you pay on news channel, see the differentiation, that is true. Number three, which is the most important point is, distribution, people get money back in entertainment and dollars. In news, there is no money back. Ultimately, it's a business too. Fourth, the most important point, if you see Times of India, Times of India evolved from just a news broadcasting company to an information broadcasting company. News is becoming infotainment. Today, the two o'clock or four o'clock slot of any news channel, the viewership of Jordan is high on a news channel because they want to know what has happened behind the scenes in terms of series. So ultimately, if you know any, any dollar will evolve basis what their viewers want. And because their viewers are there, they what they are there. That was the point I was saying. See, uh, how does it matter to me what is the cost factor? It doesn't matter to me. So I think it's it. See, the way it was uh, started, uh, see, the cost is what you try to recover. Then you are the price. I was saying that the cost you pay to a GC to achieve an FDRP, whether it's the cost you pay to a new standard, then the price difference is. But that is what I said. I am not comparing you to Star Plus. I am not comparing you. The top two channels would be Aztec and Yuji. Right? And top two movie channels would be Yuji Cinema and Senna. So, uh, see, I am telling you what in terms of how I buy it. No, 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 I think uh, as a fundamental principle, you can't compare Apple and all So, let's not try to compare the news, whether it is English Hindi or versus and if you talk about the content of even movie channels also, what does Max and Gold play show? I think everybody in the room will agree that they would have seen Surya at least 200 plus times. If not the movie, at least at least they would have seen the title Surya Vichyam at any point of time. Today, most of the content is coming, Telugu, Malayalam, Rav, which are there in the room. Irrespective of getting, see you can't compare, you do the frequency time, you can't compare frequency time with a particular time which is private to the rich guy. You can't compare Hussein Gold compared to the marathon of 21 Jones. Everybody 
wants a new channel. And they openly say, when you actually go and show the media brand with them, it's like if you're not taking a new channel, then it is an incomplete plan. Irrespective, you may put whatever the target is. And definitely, the regional alliances bring a lot of value to it. Because apart from the national, you also get across the local relevant connected news. So it's about what affinity you are bringing to my particular market. I'm getting perspective from the national channel that I do, but I also want it in my particular digital language that I can actually draw. It makes a huge top of the entire planning that needs to occur. So if I can kind of broadly summarize uh, the expectations of marketers, I think one is to take the discussion beyond PRPs, uh, make it always far more relevant uh, to the marketer in terms of what you Second is play up the fact that you have regional fields that are relevant to certain audiences, which is something that a marketer will respect and understand. Third is, I think, looking at editorial integration and therefore demand of the marketing community can you have two or three options. So if the news environment changes dramatically because of certain new developments, can we pull back to a slightly more sober advertising? And most large companies have one purpose of brands. Maybe at some point in time, pull back advertising that seems fruitless when something very sober and serious is happening, uh, like what we've been in the last uh, day and a half. I think that's another part. The fourth part, I think, is really the value of integration. The fact that as a dollar, you guys enjoy great credibility. Um, how do I integrate products in a very creative manner that can actually benefit uh, you know, brands and benefit marketers? I mean, these are some of the thoughts you want to be. I've told you a little touch for time, but I'm going to take the liberty of throwing open to just two questions, two critical questions that we have specific for marketing, since all of you guys belong to this community. So those who, you know, just two questions is what we take. And if you can identify yourself and you know direct your questions to anyone specific. The gentleman in the second Yeah, hello, good afternoon. I'm Professor Mukul Jain. My question is that today, you know, people just switch to another channel as soon as the advertisement comes, whether it is a news channel or even a movie channel also. Uh, uh, so, what is the relevance of you know spending so much money on uh, television? You know, there are hundreds of channels. So, why I will wait? You know, I am listening to a news, and this happens with me also. And it happens with everybody. So, I need your comments. Oh. Okay, I think wait, a quick short answer. I think advertising is a necessary part of life across all genres. I think people have the ability and know in their hand to that the category. Having said which, I think a lot of advertisers recognize that relevance in terms of scrolling and such like of And there are times when you're on the way to get this discussion, so you let it continue. So I'm going to leave it at that because maybe we don't have all the answers, we can certainly answer uh, some of the other queries offline. I see another question by the gentleman. Sir, yeah. Sir, Sir Gayan and Mali, I'm the founder of the 10 News Network. So my question to Amar Sumanji. Sir, uh, you just said that in 2018, uh, 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 the digital platforms like news portals, they have written a uh, high of uh, you know, new channels advertising, you know, uh, 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 in the year 2018, you said that you know, uh, the digital news platforms have written uh, the ad high of the new channels. Sir, I am a technical expert. I so, question, question, question is that you know, I find 
something you know uh, for example real accident you know just a few seconds of clips you know i found that you know it's uh, the track was not maintained it was not greased it was not even you, you can say vintage nut and bolt were not uh, you can say adjusted for years i think the major question i think the offline with this is the major question in the shorter time sir the question yeah question is that you know why why we don't put some expert there and every 200 20 channels or 30 channels and many hundred regional uh, channels so they brought us in the kind of clips okay thanks thanks sir thank you thank you please take your thanks sir